The city of Salt Lake is taking advantage of the dry weather lately to make their streets safer. They've come up with a new strategy to make the roads something that forced drivers to slow down a bit. Yeah, they're focusing on school and park zones here. Traffic specialist Katya Stepovic tells us what these roads look like and why they work. There's nothing like a straightaway to give drivers the urge to put the pedal to the metal. So Salt Lake City is developing a unique solution to get us to do the opposite, to slow down. So there's been a speeding issue uh, in local residential streets. They're called chicanes, intended to get people to swerve or wind in a way, forcing them to ease off the gas while driving. Um, on highways, you have you know big shoulders, wide lanes, and it feels comfortable driving 80 miles an hour. Um, that's not how a neighborhood street should feel. Um, it, should feel un it should feel uncomfortable to drive fast. Last summer, the Salt Lake City Council voted to drop all local road speed limits from 25 miles an hour to 20, impacting a third of the city's roads. But even that isn't enough to slow drivers down to a safe speed. Whether you are walking, biking, pushing a stroller, walking a dog, using a wheelchair, we want it to be safe for anyone to use the street. And so we believe that it's worth the slight inconvenience of a couple extra seconds of travel time in order to make the streets safe. Now this is, of course, a pilot program. So while it is running, the city of Salt Lake really wants to hear feedback from neighbors or nearby residents on how it's all going. What do you think about it? Is it working? I'll have a link on how you can submit your feedback on our website, ksltv.com. For KSL 5 News, I'm Katia Stepovic. All right, Katia, thank you.